everybody, Aileen here. Welcome back to a new video. Today I thought I would do something I did like five years ago. That is to sh do basically Swedish covers versus UK and US covers. So I have tried to find like the original covers and then what the Swedish rendition of them looks like. And I've done this once before, like five years ago, as like I said, and I will link that video down below and also in the end of the video it will show up because it was such a fun thing to do. <laughs> and you guys seem to like it, so I thought I would do it again and hopefully the Swedish covers will come out looking better than they did in the last video because they definitely lost last time. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. So the first book I'm going to talk about is Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Poston. This is the original cover, the US one, and then we have the Swedish cover. And not only have they changed the cover a lot, they have also changed the title into something you can barely even say. Because the new title in Swedish is Tio underbara härliga hemska dejter Which, first of all, it's a mouthful Second of all, the, the words are contradictory And kind of does not roll off the tongue very easily So I hate the title, first of all Second of all, I mean, it definitely looks a lot more Christmassy than the US cover Because this book takes place you know, during your holidays, basically So, I mean, the Switch cover definitely has that one down It looks very wintry um, because you now there's like snowflakes a little bit Christmas looking sweater and trees branches and stuff but I don't know I just I really like the US covers like the balloons are fun and stuff like that and that's the cover I own <laughs> um, so I don't know maybe they're, they're somewhat like Mm, I don't know. I still think that I'm going to give it to the US cover. And then we have American Royals and we have the US cover. And then we have the Swedish one. So they've changed the title for this. This is not a, anywhere near the same as the original title, but it's called Wallet. I don't know how you go from American Royals to Wallet because nowhere close. Anyways, um, I'm not completely in love with the US cover, to be honest. I mean, I love the illustrated uh, person on it. I do love illustrated covers, like a lot. Um, but I don't know, the cover doesn't really say much about the actual book. Um, I mean, it's American, I haven't actually read this book. <laughs> uh, I do own it though. Um, but I mean, it's about to be, supposed to be about royalty and you can't really tell that from the cover alone, just from the title. But the Swedish cover, technically, she does have a crown on, but the cover is ugh, cringeworthy. Sorry, Bia Wallström, but I absolutely hate it. So this one goes to the US. And then we have the Bridgerton books. So there's a lot of them, so I'm not going to show them all at the same time, because you wouldn't even see me. Um, but yeah, we have the UK covers. And these were like the first covers that I would was able to find. So I don't know if they were the original ones, but definitely early editions of it at least. Uh, this sort of illustrative sort of style. And the, all of the books are different colors depending on which character is about. And I just think they look really cute. And I really like them actually. And then we come to the Swedish covers. And um, this is what Swedish <laughs> Publishers do you smack a face on there? There you're done. Um, so first of all, there's a lot of beautiful ladies on the cover, so I'll admit that. Uh, but like the 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 girl on the the blue cover uh, uh, and oh, vented Frelskelse. Like I mean, she looks like Jade from Little Mix, and I cannot unsee it. And then the girl on the purple cover which is top right corner, she looks like Anna Kendrick. And I cannot unsee it. <laughs> and I mean, it's obviously not them, but it does look a lot like them. And I hate these covers. So we're just gonna leave it at that, that the UK definitely wins this one. And we have On The Come Up by Angie Thomas. We also have a lot of Angie Thomas books in this video because it needed to be done. Anyways, on the come up, I really love her sort of illustrative covers. They all 
match really good together all of our books and um yeah, you definitely get some vibes of the book because she has a microphone and she wants to be a rapper, you know, it's a feeling. Uh, and then we have the Swedish cover, which they've translated into Min Turnu. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, but I guess it's close enough to the title. Um, but then look at the cover. Look at the cover. Like the background is this sort of weirdish grey purple color. And then they have just like big blocks of orange behind the font. And then it's a random person staring at you. And like I said, I don't really like people on my covers unless it's illustrative. So I'm gonna get this one to the original. Then we have another Angie Thomas, like I said, we have three on this list because it needs to be done. And then we have The Hate You Give, which I hope you guys have read because it's amazing. And I really like this one. I like the fact that she's holding a sort of sign where it says The Hate You Give. And you can see the main character standing behind it. I mean, technically, it doesn't say that much about the book, but I still love it. And then we have the Swedish cover. And admittedly, it matches me to the new with the big like blocks of color, the black ones in this case, but the sort of the background is sort of a beige yellowy kind of tone. And I like the fact that they kept the title as the hate you give, they didn't translate it, which is good. Um, but now there's just a person from this side. <laughs> just turn around. <laughs> um, so definitely the original cover wins this. Then we have Concrete Rose, just because it needed to be done, because this is, this is ridiculous. Anyways, and then we have, uh, and this is, I haven't read this book, I do need to buy it, because hello, it's been a while since it came out. But, yeah, it matches the other covers, like, it looks good. It's pop of color, there's an illustrated person on it. And then we have the Swedish cover, which is Betong Rosor, which technically it's a direct translation from Concrete Rose, so... There you go, good job. But in this case, the cover is a person going like this. So <laughs> on the come up, it's straightforward. The hate to give, we turn to the one direction. And then concrete grows, we turn to the other. <laughs> and I mean, they match. I'm gonna give them that. They match, they have the same sort of feeling, but I hate that. <laughs> so concrete grows, you win. And then I just have to do like the contemporary books because they always like to change these books. So we have a Kissy West book. So we have P.S. I Like You, which is a really cute contemporary if you haven't read it. And then we have um, Songer from Hjärtat, which is the Swedish translation. And they look very different. Uh, there are people on both of the covers, so I would have loved if it was illustrated instead because that would make it a thousand times better for both of them. Um, but like, I don't know, PSA like you looks really cute. So I'm afraid at that. I mean, we have a heart-shaped balloon. Sounds very <laughs> obvious signals about what the intention of the book is. So like, I don't know. I mean, PSA like you is the cover I read the book from. And haven't actually read it in Swedish because I so rarely read in Swedish. But I kind of like both of them. But like I said, I wish they were illustrated instead of people's faces. But technically in Peace I Like You, don't see their entire faces. Does that make it a better book cover? I don't know. So for this one, I'm going like this. Like, I don't know which one I prefer. So, are we going to call it a tie? Are we really? I don't know, because I can't decide. I guess it's a tie. And then the last book I was going to talk about is Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albert Halley. And it's a cute illustrative style. We have the main character on the front. It doesn't really tell you much about what the book is about, but you get the main character. And then we have this Swedish person, which is face smack in the middle. Anyways, this one, they have named Okay, sure. But instead of just writing Becky Albertalli on the cover, they made a giant uh, yellow circle in the middle of the character's face. And write Becky Albertalli. And sure, your gaze, your eyes go straight to that point. Wonder why. 
Um, at least uh, the circle matches your glasses because they're all so yellow. So, like, maybe none of them are like the best looking, but since Leon the Offbeat doesn't have a face this close to the like camera, I'm still gonna go with Leon the Offbeat. So, the original cover win. So, yeah, I definitely think we can conclude this video by saying that the Swedish covers does not have what it takes to win against the US and the UK covers. And um, that's a shame, but I'm not exactly surprised. Like, how many wins did we get in the bag? Like, I think now we got Pace I Like You as a tie. And then I did like the cover of Tio und Bala, Hallige Hemska Date. <sighs> Still lose my breath every time to hear it. <laughs> but did it win though. And then the rest was definitely clear points to the original covers. So, if you like this video, please let me know down below because I definitely want to do this again because it's so much fun and cringe-worthy to, you know, compare the covers. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope we see each other in the next one. Bye!